Hi everyone, this is uh, me again. Um, just back with the skin tutorial, as promised, um, with the hair one. Um, it's for this little cute digi stamp. It's from All That Scraps and it's called Butterfly Lucy, or she's called Butterfly Lucy. So, I've got to get on with the skin then, the, the, for her face and her arms. The um, Copics that I use are starting from the palest E51 YR00, E21, E02, RV42 and E11. So I'll put those to one side. Here's the uh, one that I'm going to do while you're watching. Take E51 first, wrong end. I'm really good at opening the wrong ends of these. And then I put it all over her face. Don't go over the eyes because if you do go over the blacks in the eyes, it doesn't run but it does actually um, make them less black. So I tend to try and avoid if I can. You could always go over the fine liner afterwards. Anyway, there you go. That's her face completely coloured in. And then I take YR00 and I start the shading, which is around the top of her face and certainly underneath those fringes, around the sides and at the bottom. I take E21, I again around the very tops in the shadow under a fringe just little little tiny dabs around the butterfly as well give a bit of depth onto the butterfly when that's coloured E02 it's progressively darker so you're going into the the shading you're taking less of the colour each time just a little bit at the sides with the O2 I think then RV42 for the blush on her cheeks just do a little splodge either side she doesn't need quite nice cheeks, this little lady. And then I generally go back to the E51, wrong end, and go all over again. Taking the colour, just blending it in from the sides, blend it into the centre. But you'll want the centre bit to be highlighted so less colour all over that blush again just take little tiny strokes from the outside towards the centre ok then we'll go all over it actually and then I take E11 which is the really the darkest one and take that underneath her shading, underneath her fringe that's the shadow, that's what if the light is on the top it will give the shadow of her fringe I think I missed a bit of her ear out there so I'll make a little bit of her ears there go back to the E51 for over her ears Taking over the whole of her ear, just underneath the back there, and that E51 also to blend the um, E11 in too. A little bit on her arms. Legs. A 
you can generally see where the light would hit. On our arms and the legs I wouldn't generally do all the different colours of shade. I would tend to use a the E51 and maybe the E02 which this one is just to give the, the shade, the shadow where her skirt is Um, through underneath sleeves, maybe a little bit of the E11, And then back to the E51, which is this one. And again, shade it all together. I mean, um, you can create quite different effects with the one shade. If you don't have too many copics, you don't have very many copics, you can always create good depths of colour by going over with the same shade. So E51 can become a few different shades, depending on how many layers you use. Just a little finish off here and there. Right, I think that's her skin done. I think I'm happy, maybe her legs are a little bit pale. Give her a bit of a suntan. There we go. I think I'm happy with that. Hope you are too. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do let me know if you have. Um, it's good to hear. Uh, I enjoy doing them and I like sharing colouring. I'm not wonderful at it but I do like to share if I pick up some tips I pass on. Anyway, enjoy colouring. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye for now.